In our ports and in our airports, the UK border agent. Right. He was size already. Suspicious packages, huh? In our ports and in our airports, the UK border agency is fighting a constant battle against smugglers. I'm arresting you. Oh, dear me. Coming up. Nope, we haven't seen this before. From the Caribbean yields a number of suspicious looking packages. We suspect them to contain herbal cannabis. And that's why the gentleman's been arrested in caution. Thousands of dollars turn up at Gatwick that can't be accounted for. Have you got documentation to prove that? Because otherwise the money can be seized off you. And Lithuanian the, uh, son, This does not have sans content. Any in your luggage? Hey man, this is my niche, man. I found I, I found this. I found this, man. This is my gold miner. At Gatwick Airport, a flight has just landed from Montego Bay, Jamaica. UK border agency officers are using drug detection dogs and an x-ray machine to monitor luggage coming off the flight. A dog indication has been given on two suitcases and the x-ray strongly suggests that there are drug smugglers on the flight. In the baggage reclaim area, officers closely monitor the first of the passengers to collect one of the suspect suitcases. Mm -hmm. A young mother and child collect the case and head towards the customs channels. It's here that Officer Mike steps in to stop the woman. Uh-oh. What a child. child. The woman is led away for further questioning. Wait, 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 the UK rights? The way they say it is it's like it's like it's like an A. But protests her innocence. So you guys were wrong last time. Please don't play the game. Right, we're gonna be getting some women in to search you anyway. That's fine. Meanwhile, the second suspect suitcase is. So UK is copying in his content then. Hello there, sir. You travelling alone today? Just bring your bag over to the bench for me, please. Yeah, the man declares he's the owner of the suitcase, so Officer Gary confirms his fate. I'm arresting you on suspicion of the illegal importation of a controlled drug into the UK. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you don't mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand you've been arrested and cautioned? Right, if you come this way, Billy. The man is also led away for further questioning. Straight over towards that officer over there. With both passengers now under arrest, Gary can finally inspect the suspicious brown packages found in the suitcase. It, it's just rice, man. I'll let the men go. We suspect them to contain herbal cannabis. And that's why the gentleman has been arrested and cautioned. The contents of the packages will need to be formally assessed to get an idea about the weight and the value of the drugs. Since being in custody, the male passenger's mobile phone has gone off several times. Certainly trying to get hold of you, aren't they? This is mobile they want their juice. This obviously his accomplices trying to find out where he is, hopefully looking for their commodity, which they're not going to get. In Gatwick South Terminal, I was watching that. Passengers have just arrived from Madrid, and border agency officers are on the lookout for signs of suspicious behaviour. A lone male passenger who started his journey in Argentina has been intercepted. Oh. After a routine baggage search, Officer Johnson has found thousands of dollars in cash, which the passenger hasn't declared. Found some money. I've not counted it yet, but he's actually told me that it's, it's about thirty-five thousand dollars. Okay, is that US dollars? US yeah. dollars. Okay. Yeah, um, there. What's he doing with it? Any sum of cash over 10,000 euros needs to be 35,000 seashells. Officers are entitled to question passengers carrying anything over 1,000 euros to ensure it has no links to organized crime. The legislation is such that it's down to the individual to prove that the money is his and is for a legitimate purpose. So if we're not sure or uncertain of anything they're saying, we can detain the money um, and it's down to them to, like I say, prove that it is legit. 
With such a large sum of cash, background checks are That's carried out on the passenger to find out if he has any prior offences. Greg, it's Kim. Yeah. Well, he's got 35,000 US on him, so yeah, it's anything really. We'll just see what we can get on him. Thanks, Greg. Kim joins her colleague Johnson to continue with the questioning about they, where they the cash joined the money from. and to prove that it's yours, otherwise, it's theirs. Yes, the money is all yours, yeah. Well, what, what is it for? Well, this is the one where I, I explained to uh, your colleague. That's pretty I just crazy. Came back to Argentina for a week. Mm. My mother died four or five years ago, and then we just finished all the stuff with regards to the money and... Will and, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the inheritance, inheritance, yeah, so okay. This is basically my share. Have you got documentation to prove that? Because otherwise the money can be seized off you. Because you have, you're travelling with over £5,000 worth of cash and you haven't got any... Oh, no, certainly I can, I mean... And, and how long would it take you to get these documents? Well, they're got... in Argentina. They're in Argentina, are they? Yes. Yeah. I mean, it can get copies. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what, whatever the courier takes. Right. With no documents or other evidence showing where the money's come from, it looks increasingly unlikely the man will be leaving the airport with his cash. Jesus! Officers are still investigating the two passengers who were found to have what looks like packages of herbal cannabis in their suitcases. A strip search was conducted on both passengers, but no further packages were found. The woman is led away to the airport's custody suite to be detained. Yeah, whilst yeah, officer yeah. You, guys, you guys make fun of me, but you know when I said the taxes, it's always the taxes. Everything is the taxes. Everything. The it all always comes down to the taxes. Case. The substances, the, shit, the materials, the, the money, the, the fucking, the drugs, the what? It did. Taxes did. With such a large haul of suspect packages, a field test must be conducted to confirm that the substance definitely is herbal cannabis. Meaning of life, taxes, 100%. Put the first drop on it. Then that'll go through onto the second bit of filter paper. It has to be red. Put some of this powdery stuff on it. And if it's positive, it should go sort of a dark red colour. Yeah. Right. That's a positive thing. OK, there's a couple of blankets there. If you want anything, just give us a buzz. OK? The male now we're just fucking disgusting. Also detained at the custody suite. There's not a lot you can do until he um, actually gets his solicitor speaks to him. Then after that, uh, other officers will go and interview. And until then, we're just now going to go through the bags and find out exactly what he's got. A series of large brown sealed packages are pulled from the bottom of the man's suitcase. There are eight blocks well, in total. So Thank everyone generally like it. Another. Why didn't he just deposit it at the bank in Argentina and then fly? Well, think about it. Think about it this way. Why is he why didn't he do what you think? Why didn't he it taxes, motherfucker? Very significant seizure. Gary weighs the packages of drugs to find out how much the male passenger was carrying. And as you can see there, the eight blocks weigh approximately 17.26 kilograms. So there's probably about 16 and a half to 17 kilograms of herbal cannabis within them packages. With two suitcases full of herbal cannabis UK is being presented from the same flight, officers are delighted with the seizure. The 16 blocks found in both suitcases weighed over 34 kilograms in total and had a street value of 80 to 100,000 pounds. Jesus. In the south terminal, officers are still trying to decide what to do with the man who failed to declare he was carrying over 35,000 US dollars and 5,000 pounds in cash. Yeah. If, I don't know if it's going to help. But we can, I, I can call Buenos Aires, just try to find my father, and ask him just to fax the documents. The problem is they're going to be in Spanish. Mm. That's going to be the problem. I think we'll just wait and wait till the officer's finished his search and then we'll go from there, OK? Sure. Yeah. If no evidence can be shown for where the cash has come from, drastic action may have to be taken. If he can't show us any kind of trail for this and the paperwork's all going to come fire his dad and the solicitor, we're gonna, you're going to have to take the money off him, OK? 
Okay, yeah. and then they'll. I think he's got a I think he knows that actually. Oh well, I've told yeah. him. He, he's got a laptop, hasn't he? Jesus. Yeah. Has yeah. If you ask him, is there any way he can show proof of where this money's come from on that? Okay, I'll go right. to yeah, yeah. We'll get everything well, out of the back for a second. Guys, 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 you guys say sad, but you literally, it's a, it's impossible to ignore that. Like, I don't know if you guys have flown in an airplane before. You get asked at least two or three times where you have to check something, you have to sign a document, and it's written in a red. Do you carry more than $10,000 cash? No, no, no. Whenever your plane is landing, do your little fucking immigration form. No, no. Yeah, he, he knows, dude, okay? He knows. Man's and he knew. And him away he still tried it. And further questioning. So what are we going to do with the money you've got down here? This money you've got with you today, we're going to do... This one? Yeah. That was like, it sucks, but you, you can't deny it. Uh, first, we were thinking on doing an extension in the house. Yeah. But uh, we were... Uh, we didn't discuss further, really. It's not a decision. No. So, in, in the meantime, probably going to... Have you got kids in there? Yes. How many? Two kids. Oh, uh, the reason why I did this way, I don't have an account in Buenos Aires anymore. I mean, how about... But the man's answers are starting to convince. After Kim's background searches show nothing on their system, the officers have a change of heart. Sarah, it's Kim. Hi, this is going nowhere. I think I've seen his business card. He's on 60,000 a year. He gets, on average, five, 6,000 a year bonus. He's got a three bedroom house. When Franco asked him what he wanted to use the money for, he was gonna put some in the bank and he was talking about actually um, perhaps doing an extension because his kitchen's a bit small. I mean, he's very relaxed. He's, he's um, Non-verbals are very good as well. I, I just, I think he's a genuine guy, and I think we'll just send him away. Ha! So they yeah. think. Yeah, and just say next time, make sure you bring all the documents with you. <laughs> they actually fell for it. Oh, thank you very much. Come on, make that way. I'll come with you. Despite their initial reservations, officers are happy with the man's story and let him leave the airport with all of his cash. <laughs> Coming up. Impressive, they let, they let him go. Alan Tobago causes suspicion after leaving his country for the very first time. Just ticking a lot of boxes, mate. Yeah. Um, a swallower. Uh... Then we rarely see those on that show. I, I think we've only seen one swallower before. Coming up, a suitcase is found stuffed with animal skins, and a passenger's excuses aren't washing. It's clearly now rabbit, but clearly not rabbit. At Gatwick Airport, South Terminal, but why? a number of European flights have just arrived. And border That's just weird. Paul is X-raying suitcases for excessive quantities of cigarettes. Cheap cigarettes purchased outside of the European Union are often brought into the country to be sold illegally for personal profit. One bag spotted on the X-ray is suspected to contain lots of non-EU cigarettes. So Paul heads to the luggage reclaim area to see who claims the bag. If I can just see your passports. Can you put them in the black Thanks. Box? Look at that X-ray, sounds fun. Are these your bags? Yeah. It yes. sounds, I, I, I'd love it so much. Do, uh, yes. for a little bit. Then. Do you have anything to declare to customs? Customs? We, Europe Union. Yes, okay. Do you have any cigarettes with you? I know, I know we... You made two or three hours. Um, for two for us. us. Yeah, but how many cigarettes have you got? Any in your luggage? No, no cigarettes? No. Right, okay. Apart from these ones. Did it. Straight away, the couple are busted. You know people care sometimes, they like, like they bring uh, uh, onto, the, onto their, the, their luggage some like crazy shit sometimes, like some sort of like electronics device, like a computer. My dad is this thing where he, he needs his espresso. He can't like live without his espresso, right? Always, every day, an espresso. And this motherfucker, when we travel, okay, when we travel anywhere, he has to bring his fucking espresso machine. I'm not kidding. The whole fucking thing. And he puts in his luggage. And every single time we go to the airport and it goes to the x-ray, the fucking machine, they go, whoa, eh, eh, eh. And then, and then everybody gets pulled over, all the agents gather up, and then they start opening the thing. What the fuck? And you look through the x-ray, is this, is this is some crazy fucking device or whatever? Is it? Oh, sorry, it's just a... And then my espresso machine. I'm like, Jesus, man. This is a degenerate so thing. Right. It, it looks like a you fucking bomb to the, to the fucking machine. 
More cigarettes are found concealed in cereal boxes. So why are they hidden? You don't know why you, hi you hide them, and you don't know why you didn't tell me about them. You do know what's going to happen, don't you? You're going to lose all these cigarettes. Mother boys aren't that bad. And I never got pulled over once. Cigarettes are not purchased in the European Union, are they? They're not tax-paid cigarettes anyway. Is there a problem with this? Yes, absolutely there's a problem. Well, also, when you lie to me... TSA agents, I noticed, they don't, they don't like uh, dyed hair, especially not my blonde hair. They, they hate it. I, I think I would get I would get pulled aside like 50 percent, 6 percent of the time. I get, I, I get pulled aside. Cigarettes, then you... And then uh, when I have my hair brown, never. Yes, there's a problem. Do I don't know why. That? I don't know, man. Maybe because they look crazy. Maybe because I look I look nuts. The couple know their allowance. So how much can I drink with me? Well, well, because when the hair I is like showy, exactly I look like. Yeah. And that's why you're hit. You hit. That's why you're crazy. Well, you know that you're in the European Union, and if you buy tax-paid cigarettes in the European Union, then you can bring in this amount. But these aren't tax-paid cigarettes, are they? That's it. Okay, I'm using this one, man. That's a lot, Jesus. Because at the moment you haven't been honest with me, so I need to check everything, don't I? No, they do. At the gate, they they, just, they take your boarding ticket, and they just they draw something on it, like a, a line or a symbol. Okay, and then you're... two forms. I've got to issue these two. One's a warning letter, and one's a seizure And then you're done. So. Thanks very much. Paul seizes all of the cigarettes, and the couple. Yeah, they, they draw a small thing on it, or on the on the just on the thing. Obviously, look down at his feet, almost like schoolboyish. Um, if I don't look at you, then uh, and, and don't speak to you, then it's not really happening. Yeah. North all that, Tower. all that for cigarettes. Has just come in from Port of Spain via Saint Lucia. Flights from the Caribbean are a popular transit route for drug smugglers, and officers working in immigration have concerns about one particular passenger. As he collects his suitcase from the luggage carousel, Officer Paul escorts him through to the customs channels. Do you have anything to declare to customs? Oh yeah, cigarettes. Yo, oh yeah, I was told you about the story about BlizzCon. Ah, uh, yeah, I thought you said, did it. It, 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 it's a short story, okay? It's a short story. Back in days, okay, I I had to go to LA for um, to show the World Cup team, okay? So Blizzard, Blizzard was uh, was sending the whole Canada team to the to the US, right? So we were getting flown out, right? Yeah, I'll go over it really fast. And then and then so so I go I go to the airport, and whenever you get to the gate, it's always um, are you traveling for um, you know, are you like a visit, you know? Tourism or whatever, or a business, right? And I was wearing a shirt for the first time. And I was well dressed, a nice pants, the whole thing, right? And I was like, right there. And I was like, you know, dude, <sighs> motherfucker, Blizzard is flying me in, right? We're, we're going over there, and I'm I'm a paid professional, you know what? I mean? <sighs> business, Psh, business. That's who the fuck I is. Business, yo. I get to the gate, and the gate, I. Get, Eh, dude, eh, but did they they mean they, they mean walk all the way to fucking holdings or whatever, right? I had to spend a, a a whole hour, okay? I was like, oh yeah, yeah, but Blizzard is a gaming company. Um, I played the video game and I I'm going there to play the video, and I had to explain and they're like, dude, they were like, all I had to do is yeah, all I had to do is say visit and there was there was no way you know, but now you put business on purpose, and now like we have to deal with this. I was like, yeah, but we're only gonna win the, the f 500 bucks. F and yeah, I talked my way out of it, but it could have uh, they, they 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 right. sent me back. Yeah. One bottle of alcohol, okay. They get sent me back. Dog Bren also shows an interest in the passage. He's in a work visa or whatever. He showed right? me a lot of interest in this gentleman here. It didn't, it didn't such indicate, but it gave me enough information to say, yeah, I'm, I, I want that looked at. Okay, sir, please ask some questions about your luggage. Anybody giving you anything at all yeah. to bring here? Yeah, my yeah. I'm from Trinidad. Oh, okay. So when did you arrange this trip? Well, she arranged this trip last month. Last month? Yeah. yeah. Told me last time she was, she was in Trinidad. Oh, you got sent back when you did that? Then. And who bought your ticket? She, she did. Do you know what she does for work? Pardon? Do you know what your auntie does for work here? No. No, you don't know that. They never know, though. Paul conducts a thorough search of the man's bags for any signs of drugs. 
you're from Trinidad, you're a fisherman, yeah? Yeah. yeah? And how much do you get paid doing that then? Well, I'm self-employed. You're self-employed. Oh, Depends no. Depends how many fish you catch. Depends on how many fish. So what are you intending to do while you're here? Just visit. And what made you want to visit this country? Well, my, my aunt, she told me come up and see people come over all these leaders fall and But the, the leaves. story about the seasons doesn't convince. So you've come here to see autumn, have you? Wow. It's your first time of travel. So you've never even been to another Caribbean island or anything? I can leave that with you and I'll have a chat with my boss and I'll be back with you in a minute, alright? Just ticking a lot of boxes, mate. Yeah. Um, very potentially uh, um, third parties. Auntie bought the ticket. It's uh oh, got no shots. It's never even travelled abroad before. The dog is so interesting. So On his body. Area, so it's groin area, should we do strip? Yeah, just yeah, strip. Just stripping. Hello, sir. I want to do a search on you, OK? Definitely. To make sure you don't have anything on your body. What we'll do is we'll go to a private room, OK? Suspecting he may have swallowed packages okay. of drugs, yeah. the man is led away for further investigation. Don't you go to the next story, you bitch! I was watching the whole story! They, dude, this UK editing! The agency are looking out for. Officer Liz is working in the baggage reclaim area with sniffer dog Cody, who's the airport's newest dog trained specifically for the detection of products of animal origin. It stems back from when we had the, out the foot and mouth outbreak um, and we're trying to sort of stop any sort of food products coming out from outside the EU, certainly meats, cheeses, um, any sort of products of animal origin really. If there's any sort of um, parasites or any sort of um, bacteria, etc., that could get into Classic, our own yeah. food chain, more stories than I have anymore. What we really are trying to prevent. Passengers from Istanbul just arrived, and officers in the customs channels. All my stories are fake. Seizures of meat and other banned foods. Yeah, that's really bad. They have to. One passenger has caught the attention of officers after her suitcase was found to contain a number of animal skins. I've had a look in the bag, I've come across these skins, she's claiming that But why though? But they're clearly... You can have this synthetic and um, it's the same or better. Detained. If they're okay, they'll be forwarded on to her, but um, until we get confirmation, they're going to be detained. The animal skins will be sent to a specialist unit at Heathrow Airport who deal with items that are suspected to originate from endangered species. Good! There's certainly a couple of these look like a cat, some sort of big game cat probably. Deer, elk, maybe, um, and I mean, the obvious thing would say bear there, but until we get it properly looked at, it's going to be very difficult to sort of see really exactly what we are dealing with. It's an unusual discovery, so Officer Allen decides to use the seizure as a training aid for sniffer dog Cody. Cody's, he's still sort of quite a young dog, so he's still new to the actual work. Um, so, yes, yeah, we use the word scent library. Um, uh, he's going to fuck it up. For the dog. He's never come across these pelts before. So it's what we do. We can put them in the bag um, and hopefully he'll remember this smell. It's all part of a sort of development of a young dog, definitely. The animal skins are hidden in a case. Just start from there. And Cody shows an interest first time. Oh, oh well done. Good boy. It's early days, but Cody seems to have made a flying start to his new life as a sniffer dog at Gatwick. Well done. In the airport's north terminal, the man suspected of having swallowed packages of drugs is still under investigation. Well, he well, thinks he's only getting a search. Strip search, okay? His dog showed an interest around the boy in there, okay? Okay, okay. I understand. This guy's overconfident then. Officer Paul conducts a thorough search of the passenger, but he's not found to be hiding anything. You're not intending to stay here? No? X-ray, no. X-ray. You sure? Positively sure about that. But you don't have a return ticket, no? They told me I have to return on the 14th of, of um, November. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't get any um, thing as yet, so. There's one final way of finding out whether the man is smuggling drugs inside his body. Oh, how would that be? Another way people can bring drugs in the country is to have it inside, inside. them. Inside? Yeah. Oh. We have a machine which can, can do an x-ray. Oh. You okay to do that for us? Why not? Why not? Okay, good man. The fisherman volunteers to do a full oh, no, x-ray. He... Nah, he's clear. It will take Fuck. just moments to no find content. out if he's got drugs inside him. Oh, come up here, I'll show you. 
Right, this is a conveyor belt, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, so you're going to stand on this, stand up here, uh -huh. and it's going to move when I say, right, face this way, face, no, face this way. All right, come closer to me here. That's it, legs apart a bit more. All right, you need to stay very still, otherwise it won't work, I'm going to have to do it again, okay? Oh, wait a minute. Breathe, breathe out. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Despite their suspicions, this time the x ray shows there are no packages inside the man's yeah. body. My colleague upstairs is, still has an interest in you, okay? He's basically a fisherman in Trinidad and Tobago. He doesn't earn very much money. His ticket was bought yesterday by a third party, which is supposedly an auntie, but he doesn't know what that auntie even does for a job or anything like that. Basically, his, his story and his reasons for coming here not only drew our attention, but also the immigration officials upstairs. So unless possibly they, they can find this auntie and she could substantiate while he's here, why he's here, um, he may be on the next flight home. We'll have to see. The man was questioned further by officers in immigration and was eventually denied. I don't really like the X-ray. I'm happy when they when they get caught because they shoot the X-ray and it's interesting to look at. The two cannabis smugglers found with eight blocks each in their suitcases both pleaded guilty to drug smuggling. Hey, it's already over. Sentenced to 15 months. It's it's already over, man. No shot.